Hello everybody and welcome to part two of my thrift with me video of all the stuff that I've been finding over the Christmas season, but it's not necessarily like Christmas themed. Also, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I said on my last video that I will not be checking the comments on this video today, but I will try to look at them over the next week. I hope that you guys are spending today with your families, celebrating the birth of Jesus, eating some great food, spending some good quality time together. I know that we are gonna be running around visiting my mom's family, my dad's family, my husband's family. We're gonna be all over the place and I'm so excited. But I'm also so excited to be here and keep you guys company. I know that not everybody has these huge families like we do and so if you are at home today, so whether or not you are with a huge family or at home alone today, I'm so happy to be here with you and to show you some of the stuff that I've been able to find over the last couple of weeks. If you guys are new here, my name is Kristen Hoffman. I am a mom who loves thrifting, homemaking, and intentional living. Part of that intentional living is saving money. I love home decor and so that's a lot of what I have been showing you guys over the last few weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys some footage of some thrift trips that I went on and then afterwards we can come back here and I will show you what I found. This store had so many great brass pieces, but honestly, I just had no use for them, so I left these all behind. I carried around these turkey chargers in my cart for a long time, but once I got to the checkout, I did wind up taking them out just to make sure that I didn't go over budget. I was not sure what these little crocs were for, so I didn't pick them up, but can somebody tell me, do you know why these things have handles on them? I loved this beautiful blue lamp. Right after I got done filming this, somebody else picked it up and put it in their cart. The girls loved playing with this vintage brush. They actually carried it around with us all day long. I also loved this plate that we found. It was so pretty, but again, I wasn't sure how I would use it, and so I left it behind. But man, it was only $1.98. I probably should have picked up this American flag. Ours has gotten torn up in the wind. Is it crazy windy where you guys are living right now? Because it has been nuts this year here in Nebraska. I found these give us a stay our daily bread, bread plates. I know that a few of you guys said that you were looking for these. I also loved this cute little coffee cup, but dang, it was $5. I found these plates that I thought were super cute. They weren't spowed, so I did wind up leaving them behind, but they were $7 for about, I think probably six of them. I found this Courier and Ives plate that I thought was cute. And I did wind up picking up this cedar and eucalyptus garland. I actually have it hanging on our mantle right now. I probably should have picked up these brass bells that I found. I didn't like the cord that they are on, but I should have just gotten them, cut them off the cord, and then hung them up as ornaments on our tree. Now I'm having buyer's remorse. <laughs> I also thought these stockings were cute, especially the white one. picked up these shoes. They're in terrible condition. I don't know why I did it. Again, Kristen making terrible decisions. <laughs> I also thought that these little pink pillows were really cute, but truthfully, we just don't need them. So again, I left them behind. I like these leather shoes, but they were not in my size. And I have no business buying shoes that are not in my size. <laughs>
Okay, so last week's video was more, it's like all still right here. So last week's video was more like kitchen crockery Christmas decor. Today I'm gonna focus more on containers, linens, and home decor, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with something, two things actually, that I stated in my 40 things I don't buy. These are one of the things that I said I never buy and I don't know what came over me, but basically I found this. And here's the story behind this. My ultimate goal is to find a taxidermy pheasant and I'm obsessed with them. I It's like my dream. But of course, I've never found one in the wild. Maybe I would have to go to an antique store, but I don't visit antique stores very often just because I can't afford them. But I was in there the other day. I had literally just gotten done talking to this Instagrammer that I like love. His handle is called Matt Made Home. If you guys like my style, you will. His is way better than mine. <laughs> anyway, but I was telling him, man, this is my dream. Well, like literally the next day I walked into Goodwill and I found this pheasant. So I guess if I can't have like a real one, I can at least have a little ceramic one. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a peek, just kind of a close up. I loved the color of it. It looks like, oh, look at there. It was $5.99 at Goodwill. <laughs> look at that. Lynn from Mom, 1967. Let's see what this says down. Holland mold. So this must have been, I don't even know. Is this some a mold that I guess a person made for another person and then painted it themselves? Anyway, I thought it was really cool. And you guys, I think it's a little bit crazy that I said I don't buy figurines because literally, <laughs> two seconds later after I found that pheasant mold. And I think that there must have been somebody who like really loved dachshunds and really loved this type of stuff because there was a few items that were like this. But I also found this little, what I'm guessing it's a quail, right? A little quail. But again, look at the painting on that. Is this from Lynn to mom? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that's what, that's what it was, right, Lynn? Yeah, Lynn. Anyway, but I thought that this one was so cool too. And so, Honestly, I have not decorated my fireplace yet just for like day in, day out kind of stuff. And after I take down all of my Christmas decor, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out something for that. So I don't know if this guy will end up on there, but I know almost for sure that that pheasant is going to end up on there. But I thought that this would also just be kind of cool to tuck in because I've got lots of like little crocs and stuff. And sometimes I feel like I need another little element of life. So as you can see, this guy was $1.99 and I thought that he was super cute. So continuing with home decor, as many of you guys know, our dog was hit by a car a couple months ago. We had such a sweet friend who came to our housewarming party and she actually, as her housewarming gift to us, she had printed out a bunch of photos that she had pulled from my Instagram of Reese and our girls. She gave it to us in like kind of like a plastic stand-up frameless frame or whatever, which is fine. But um, the girls were asking if they could get like a really nice frame for the photo. So I did find this one. Oops, it's like falling apart. I found it for $1.98 at Thrift World. And you guys, it's nothing like crazy, but I just thought I would show it to you. Just, I wanted to get them something that was a little bit nicer and more um, long-term that they could have to put their pictures in. I also found this little painting at the Goodwill outlet. So you guys, this isn't, I wouldn't say that this is like exactly my style, but you guys, I'm trying to show you the texture, but this is a real painting and somebody was trying to sell it for $3, but I found it at the outlet and I saved it. I think I'm gonna wind up putting it in our bathroom, at least for now. It has kind of like a Japanese feel, but it's definitely, I'm guessing it's an oil painting, maybe acrylic, you never know. But anyway, I thought I would show it to you guys. And I just, I hate when you find good, real paintings in the Goodwill outlet, it just breaks my heart. And so I saved it. I did find this box again at the Goodwill outlet. And you guys, I know you're like, seriously, we're wasting our time looking at a goth box. And the answer is yes. <laughs> but it has this kind of like slide opening. And the reason why I got this, number one, because it looks antique or at least vintage, but we are having such a problem with Ivy right now. She is getting into every single cabinet and drawer that we have. The thing that I'm the most nervous about is that she keeps getting into the girl's markers and colors. 
which she's so excited about, but she's a year and a half and I found her coloring all over her body. I found her coloring all over the floors. Thank God it has been washable and has came up right away. One time the girls colored on one of our couches and it didn't come up. And even though it said it was a washable marker, it did not come off. So I'm a little bit paranoid right now. I'm glad that this has an opening like this. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for her to be able to open. I'm gonna set this in our hutch and try to get this stuff so that it's not so easy for her to open up. I have this awesome computer bag that I showed you guys that I got in one of my videos this past year. I found it at the Goodwill outlets and it's like super beat up, you know, but it's awesome. It's all real leather. It's pretty heavy kind of. It's funny because our pastor's wife, Carissa, who is like not a Goodwill or a thrifted person, she told me if you ever find something like that, like you have to pick it up for me. And so at the Goodwill outlet the other day, I did find this one. So as you can see, it's not in like perfect shape. You know, it does need to be maybe just like kind of wiped down and cleaned up a little bit. But overall, I feel like it's pretty decent. There is, okay, so yeah, there's this area right here where it's pretty worn. I'm not sure what's going on, but everything else on it is in great condition. So I went ahead and picked this up for her and it's like perfect laptop size and I'm gonna give it to her. And you know what, if she loves it, then she loves it. And if she hates it, then she can give it to somebody else. Okay, and lastly for containers, I did find this basket. When we got Buddy, he came with a bunch of like supplies that were in addition to all of the supplies that we already had for Reese. So all of Reese's stuff we have in a basket that's up in our green closet in the porch room. Well, after we got Buddy, I found this exact same basket as the one that we have for all of Reese's stuff. And so I figured we could set any additional dog supplies that they gave to us in this one and we can put them both up there and we might actually have two baskets in this house that match each other. Look at me looking so intentional. Okay, and next I'm just gonna show these all at once really quick. I did find some vintage books. I found this. I found this American College Dictionary. You can see it has some like, what is that, embossing? beveling i can't remember this is not it doesn't look particularly old but i liked i liked it okay this is 1953 so it's not like super old but i just thought it was really nice and great for decor i found this one called the white rose right here you can see it look at the the pages on this i love that look this one's actually 1969 so even younger than the other one i thought that these were like antique books apparently my radar is off Ooh, this one looks very interesting this is quietly my captain waits by evelyn eaton and this one is copyright copyright 1939 so it's almost an antique right I'm getting better and then lastly i have this one it's a man called peter and i thought that the look at the inside look how sweet that is it's like a, it must have been some type of library book oh gosh i think this one is 1951 actually so i've got these four and i tried to focus on like blacks and blues i like to after i take down all of my christmas decor really try to like clean the whole house try to minimize as much as possible and then i like to kind of bring in blues i realized recently that when we were painting this house and decorating this house there's something that is missing in my decor and that color is i actually think it's not even that color blue but it's like a light blue i'm going to try to see if i can incorporate a little bit more of that to kind of give i think that there's a lot of oranges in our floors and i feel like we need the blues to balance that because like this color is called dove by bear for those of you who are asking it's beautiful but i don't feel like it helps us with our floors like I feel like we're missing something like it looks right now because you can see the blue of the sky but I really feel like we need a little bit more blues in our home just to kind of balance it out a little bit okay so next are shoes and I apologize that these are all kid shoes so I'm just going to show them really quickly to you first I found these little Nike Air Force ones I actually bought these for Rosie but their feet are growing so fast so these were a little bit more expensive I think that these were $14 at Thrift World but I figure, you know, the real ones are probably at least 60, if not, you know, somewhere from 60 to 100. So I thought that that wasn't too bad. And these will probably wind up going to Ruby. I don't know. We'll see if Rosie can fit into them. But it says that they're a boy's size 11 and Rosie's currently in a 12. And so I don't know. This girl's feet are growing at insane 
paces. Another outlet purchase that we had was these little Minnetonka. It says $3.99, but we got them from the outlet, which they might have been somewhere around, around that. They're pretty solid shoes. They're made of leather and fur, but I have these for the girls in all kinds of sizes. I love wearing little slippers around the house. It does get a little bit drafty in here, and so I like to be able to have these for them. These are size three, so she probably won't be able to wear these for a couple years, but I've talked about it in the past that I really like to buy out. You know, like if I find something that I think is really cute but I know they won't be able to wear it for two years I just buy it anyway and I put it down in their bins in the basement and then when it is time for them to be that age I love that I can just pull it out and already have clothes for them moving on to a couple of things for me I will show you guys these but quickly I'll show them to you on camera I found this Calvin Klein dress I wore this to our church holiday party so cute I got this for $6.99 and I also got this, I don't know what brand this is, but I wasn't a huge fan of the cobalt blue inside, but I really like the outside. It's from Lace and Mesh, but it's another kind of like, I just got it as like a holiday dress and it's a little bit kind of loud and it's velvety, but I don't know, I was about it. I thought it was so cute and I loved it when I tried it on. The other one fits me a little bit better, but I loved the pattern of this one. And so I actually wound up wearing this one to a wedding recently. So I realized that I have like no, nice dresses for winter time and even still the, both of those have short sleeves but i hate going out and buying an expensive dress just to wear it one time and then never wear it again and i say that just because i have like nowhere that i wear nice dresses to i don't have that many friends that are getting married anymore and there's not a whole lot that calls for a nice dress these days and these last few pieces for my linens i got this cute little vintage pillow cover. I got this from the outlet and it's great because I actually just heard from the church that whenever the kids nap there, they want them to bring their own pillows and own blankets. And I've got pillows, but I don't have enough pillow covers. So that is perfect. And then lastly, again, just kind of a functional thing. I got this, I'm not gonna show it to you. It's a bed skirt. Basically, we don't have a bed skirt on our bedroom bed, nor do we have one on our guest bedroom bed. We've just been trying to like make it work and try to like hide it with a sheet, make like the sheet really long to try to cover the box springs that they're on. Anyway, so I'm happy to be able to finally do that. I would love to find a linen one for our bedroom here, but that has not happened yet. So until then, you're just gonna have to see our box springs underneath our bed. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me here on Christmas. I hope that you guys are enjoying this and that there has been so much anticipation for the birth of Jesus, that he is the hope for the world. This has been an amazing Christmas season for us and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. So we'll see you guys next week for my new year video and that'll be the last one that I'm gonna be posting for a while. So I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.